Hello, welcome to today's verification exercise. Look at the question on the board. The question is bracket of x minus 3 close bracket all to the power of 4 equal to 7 to the power of 4. They verify roots. Now, I solved this challenge a few days ago and then uh, we have four roots. Yeah, yeah we had four roots uh, because of the power here. Okay, so two of the roots are real roots and of which I verified the real root. But in that video, I said that if you want me to verify the imaginary root, then you should drop it in the comment section. And a great number of persons said I should verify the imaginary root. And it's very simple. Okay. But we are not going to solve this challenge again for the root. Okay. I'm going to bring out the solutions, which are the roots, the four roots. Then the ones we want to verify, we just verify them. But I'm going to leave uh, a link in the description below where you can have access or gain access to the solution to the four roots. In other words, the first link you're going to see in the description will take you to that video. So you do where to click on that link and watch the video on how we got or how we arrive at the four roots here. So what are the roots to this um, challenge here? So we got our x1 to be equal to 10. Then our x2 equal to uh, minus 4. The x3, uh, we got it to be um, 3 there plus 7 iota. Then our x4, we got it to be 3 minus 7 iota. So we we'll verify this. We we'll verify this. So how do we verify these two? Yeah, now. Nah. Uh, and I believe these ones are very easy to verify. Okay, so let's go into check straight. So what are we going to check our verification? All right, so we take the first one, which is this, x3 equal to three plus seven iota. This is our equation. From here, let's bring our question, which is x minus three plus bracket r to the power of four equal to seven to the power of four. All right, now what is our x? Let's look at our x here. So let's quickly put down here our uh, 3 plus our 7 iota, okay? Then minus, look at our 3 and 3, everything to the power of 4 equal to 7 to the power of 4. Look at what we have here. This, we go with this because here we have divisible plus, here we have minus here. So we're left with 7 iota all to the power of 4 equal to 7 to the power of 4. The question now is, what is iota to the power of 4? Because this expression we have here could be written as 7 to the power of 4 times iota to the power of 4 equal to our 7 to the power of 4. So let's quickly look at the powers of iota to the fourth power. So we have here iota to the power of 0, we give us 1. Iota to the power of 1, we give us iota. Iota to the power of 2, we give us minus 1. Then iota to the power of 3, this will give us minus iota. And iota to the power of 4, yeah, to the power of 4 will give us positive 1. So this iota to the power of 4 is 1. So we now have 1 times 7 to the power of 7 will give us 7 to the power of 7 is equal to 7 to the power of 7. So this shows that the third root, x equal to 3 plus 7 iota, satisfy the original equation. Let's do a similar check for the all right so we have here so we have here um again we have our x to be this so we're going to have our x which is three minus seven iota then minus our three all to the power of four this is equal to seven to the power of four two here we still have divisible plus, so this, this will leave the system. So we now have here bracket minus 7 iota all to the power of 4 equal to 7 to the power of 4. Great. Now, let's rewrite everything we have inside this place here now. So this is going to give us minus 1 times 7, yeah, times 7, then times iota, everything to the power of 4 equals to 7 to the power of 4. Okay, we are almost there. Here, we can apply what we call the distributive law of this power among everything we have here. Remember, the law, we say that if you have your x, y, 
all to the power of n, this is same thing as x to the power of n times y to the power of n. Remember this? So we can rewrite everything here as minus 1 all to the power of 4 times our 7 to the power of 4 times iota to the power of 4 equals to 7 to the power of 4. Right? Good. So what is minus 1 to the power of 4? That is positive 1. So we have here 1 times 7 to the power of 4, then times, again, look at our iota to the power of 4. It's positive 1. So definitely here we're going to have 1 equals to 7 to the power of 4. So 1 times 7 to the power of 4 times 1 will give us 7 to the power of 4 equals to 7 to the power of 4. So this shows that the fourth root, which is this imaginary root, also satisfies the original equation. So with this, we'll verify the four roots in the system. Now let's just um, complete it for the first and the uh, for the first and the second one. It is easy. So here we take our ten into this. So we're going to have ten minus three all to the power of four equal to seven to the power of four. So this will give us seven to the power of four is equal to seven to the power of four. So this shows that the first one here will also satisfy the equation. So any need checking for this, well, let's just do this. So for the second one, we have minus 4. So we're going to have minus 4 in place of x, then minus 3, all to the power of 4, equal to 7 to the power of 4. So minus 4 minus 3 will give us minus 7 to the power of 4. This is equal to um, 7 to the power of 4. Now, look at this now. This minus minus is inside the bracket. And so we must put this in the bracket. And like I said earlier, of this is the same thing as minus one, okay, all to the power of four, there times seven to the power of four equals to seven to the power of four. Minus one to the power of four will give us positive one. So we have one times seven to the power of four equals to seven to the power of four. So let's just check it out here. So one times seven to the power of four will give us. 7 to the power of 4 is equal to 7 to the power of 4. So this shows that this also satisfies the equation. All right. So this is the proof to all four roots as required by my subscribers, my viewers. So thanks for being there. Thanks for watching online mass TV content. Remember, we love you. And we keep on loving you. Until we meet you again in our next class. Keep winning. And don't forget, Jake loves you. Bye. For now.